Sometimes we only need to use a portion of a large data set. Importing the whole data set just to crop to a small area can be a slow and frustrating process. Luckily, Map Publisher has the ability to limit features based on geographic bounds during import. This video will show you how to create and save spatial filters. With my data set loaded in the import dialog box, I will open the filtering options dialog, enable the spatial filter checkbox, and open the spatial filters dialog. We start by setting the geographic extents for the spatial filter. This can be done using any one of the following methods. Select from an online map. An online map can be used to set the geographic bounds. The red bounds represent the area of interest for the spatial filter. The blue bounds show the extents of the entire data set. The area of interest size can be changed by clicking and dragging any of the four corner markers. With the Select Bounds method, you can select an input coordinate system and enter the coordinates of a bounding box or a specified position and distance. The coordinates can be entered manually or by selecting existing map world locations. The Select Area by Map View method allows you to use the extents of an existing map view as the corners of the spatial filter. Simply select an existing map view from the drop-down list. The geographic extents of a vector file could be used to set the corner coordinates of our spatial filter. Select a vector file which has the appropriate extents and click Open to update the corner coordinates of the spatial filter dialog. Another option is to use the extents of a coordinate system. With this method, you simply select an appropriate geodetic or projected coordinate system from the Map Publisher list of coordinate systems. If you know the coordinates you want to use for the opposite corners, you can enter them in the point 1 and point 2 section of the spatial filter dialog, or you can select existing map locations to use as the corner coordinates. Next, we'll set the filters relationship from the drop-down in the spatial filter dialog. The intersects option will include any features which are fully contained within or intersected by the specified area of interest. The contains option will only include features which are fully contained within the specified area of interest. The crop option will include all portions of features within the specified area of interest. Spatial filters can be saved for reuse or distribution to colleagues. To save a spatial filter, once it has been created, click the Save button beside the Spatial Filter drop-down, enter an appropriate name, and click Save. The saved spatial filter has been added to the drop-down list and can be reused in the future. The spatial filters are saved in an XML file on your hard drive. Any spatial filter XML files found in this directory will be added to the saved spatial filter drop-down list in the Filtering Options dialog. To transfer a spatial filter to another computer, simply copy the XML file and place it in this directory on the destination computer. This folder is created when the first spatial filter is saved, so if it does not exist, you can manually create this folder.